We see the DNA. But nowhere do you see the DNA of um, Puerto Rican culture. Puerto Rican culture. I'm not talking about Puerto Rican individuals. I'm talking about Puerto Rican culture. Jamaican culture. Those things did not influence hip hop, regardless of what, how official motherfuckers sound saying it. What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right, Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Today, people want to downplay the Latino role in hip hop. Yeah. They are so stupid. Yeah. Really? Hip hop cannot, would not have existed. Without, them. without specifically Puerto Rican, specific <coughs> Cubans were here, Haitians were here, Dominican the Republic was here, everybody was here, all of South America been in the Bronx, okay? But Puerto Ricans in particular sided with the black folk here, and the Jamaicans were coming in as well. And this group of Puerto Ricans, Jamaicans, and American blacks made hip hop. Not American blacks. Not Puerto Rican, not Jamaican, all of them <laughs> made the culture. This is the Puerto Rican piece. These dudes was breaking and seeing. <laughs> now, when I look at the, the DNA of hip hop, when I look at the double helix of hip hop, ho, oh, what I see is soul music. Funk music. I see. Uh, I see people that uh, parents that might have come up in the South who moved to the North, specifically the New York City area, um, and whose children came up in that post Civil War. I mean, not Civil Rights, not Civil War. That post Civil Rights uh, era. With that northern attitude, that attitude that was like, motherfucker, I wish I was around during slavery times. I wouldn't have let motherfuckers with me. Like when Roots came out when we was young, it was like, I wish I would. That's the energy that birthed hip hop. Those kids that watched Roots and all that type of shit. That's the energy that birthed hip hop, bro. And that's the DNA you see all in hip hop. And, and so we hear it musically with the type of samples that we choose or chose to play at that time with the break beats that we chose at the time. But we also hear it in the language, okay? We see the DNA of the 5% nation very much inside of hip hop with terms like peace and cipher and, 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 and God and son and and you know what I mean? All kinds of shit. We see the DNA, but nowhere do you see the DNA of um, Puerto Rican culture. Puerto Rican culture. I'm not talking about Puerto Rican individuals. I'm talking about Puerto Rican culture, Jamaican culture. Those things did not influence hip hop, regardless of what, how official motherfuckers sound saying it. I'm sorry. I hate to hurt your heart. That the thing that you adore and love is something that black American youth created. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that hurts your heart for some reason. I don't know why it hurts you so much. But this is a fucking fact. No one said y'all wasn't there. No one said you wasn't there. Sure you were there. But if I'm building a house and you watch me build a house, does that mean you built it too? No. When the doctor births a baby, is that the is the doctor the father or the mother of the child because it was present at the time of birth? No! <laughs> I 
<laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Like, only the people that were there during conception um, are the parents, okay? So, all of this shit about, we were there, we were, yeah, you were there. But there's a difference between a creator and a participator. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace, you now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. Kings of Carmen, it's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Toronto, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. No, I know me, old. You fuck with lambskin condoms. I ain't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. Yeah. Real. I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my <laughs> They ain't no point of both of us get <laughs> I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Pop, 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 $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> mm. no, sir. Punchline, punchline, punchline. You know, I'm a turn. Give me a second.